know when we're rolling. We are back. Another episode of the Brian Moreno Show. Excited to be Woo! here. With- yeah. Yes, yeah. my man. Yeah. My man, David Murphy, is the co-host. Mm, yes. How you doing, David? I'm doing excellent, man. Having a great day. How are you? Excellent. Our man on the comedy streets. We're going to get to you mm-hmm. before we do. Mm-hmm. We got our sponsor to plug, Alpha Dog Pack Poop Bags. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, nice. man. This is for real. Paul's down the best poop bags in the business. Superior quality. 100% compost, uh, compostable. Compostable, oh. right? Nice. Yes, not combustible. I, I said yeah. combustible yeah. the other day, <laughs> yeah, yeah. which is not the same thing. Like if you it would be cool though you could pick up the poop and then just throw it in the air and it explodes. Well, well if you're nah. into like uh uh ding dong ditching, mm. right? Oh, yeah. Right? Like that would yeah. be what you totally. would use a combustible poop bag for, but these are not these are compostable. Ladies and gentlemen, alpha poop bags, alpha poop bag. mm. com, alpha poop Oh, bag I get it. Like Instagram. alpha as in dog too. I get it. Woo! Dog. Ah, woof woof. Is there David a Murphy? poop bag? Mm. Though, you know? Yes, and before before we start and get into it, we got Brian Schlesinger in the newsroom, ladies and gentlemen. Brian's, uh, we got we got sounds for you, Brian, that we're gonna get to in the newsroom before. Uh, the headlines. Yes, before too long. The headlines. Yes, I paid fifty dollars for that guy. Just kidding. <laughs> oh wow! And in the hot seat today, my man with the plan, Stephen Ladden. Thank you very much for joining us, Stevie. How are you doing, yeah, man. man? Thanks for having me. I'm great. It's, Hi- uh, it's midweek. It's Wednesday. Well, you know, this might not air on Wednesday, so let's not confuse people. (laughs) (laughs) This fucking guy. (laughs) Hey, run run it back. Run it back. (laughs) How you doing? You like the studio, Stevie? Studio 51? Hey, it's great. It's got that uh, that eclectic 54 vibe, you know? Well, 51 as in Area 51, like aliens, but no aliens. Uh Uh I mean, we have, you know, we we got a few things. he's right with the Studio 54 vibe, also. It's the, the, dog, it's the lighting, yeah. It just, mm. it, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting there. You know, every day we're like improving. like to party it up. Yeah. David yeah. Murphy was in the hot seat yeah. last week, and we had no background, but a oh, black man's good. face. We had good lighting for a black man's yeah, face. Yeah, you, you guys are ready for any, any race in here. I will say that. That's what I like right. about you guys. Right. Very, <laughs> very, very 21st century with that. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, and David Always Murphy, ready. our comedy man on the streets. You, I would say, of all... Four of us in here, you are the one comedian who's left standing, right? I have been, you know, I've had a total loss of comedy identity, but you, if if one person I know who grinds, who's out there on the streets, it's you. So what's it like out there doing the outdoor shows? I don't know. Um, they're they're coming along. Uh, some some are popping up. A lot of park shows, uh, which I think will have an advantage over New York. Uh, once the weather, once their weather starts to hit, you know, gets uh, cold for them. So. They've been all right. I did a beach a beach show, and it was like 50-some-odd people on, on the, the beach. beach. Yeah, it was really oh. nice. The background was the ocean. Uh, everybody's doing gorilla style. People are selling alcohol at the, at the shows now, just like people bring containers. Like, people just don't give a fuck. I think cops are not stopping people now because they're like, whatever, I get it. I'm trying to hustle. So, oh, uh, just people, to make some extra bucks. Yeah, people Buy are literally pack, people, yeah, people are buying a 12-pack of Trulies. Or what's, what's the little, yeah, little yeah, things yeah, the girls drink? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Those and they're just selling them, and I, I I seen a homeless guy on the beach selling alcohol the other day. I was walking on Venice Beach, and the guy just he had a cooler and was like literally walking around yelling vodka tonics, <laughs> vodka sodas, a guy rum rum and cokes, like just, just. So basically, it's like when you when you exit a a club or a bar at two a.m. <laughs> it's just now it's more diversified. Yeah, because. exactly. That's exactly what it's, <laughs> they, it's they, like. That they've like, commodified that experience. Yeah, uh, but I will say that the crowds at the shows, I feel like it's a. Better. It's harder for the comics because the sound, you know, is leaving and their people aren't in the same place. But for the crowd, I think they have a better time because they feel less confined. Like they're laying on a blanket, you know, they're sitting back with your girl. It's like it's not like you can't leave this thing. It's like you're you're hostage sometimes at comedy shows. I also think though that the crowds that are there, uh, they are like they're for that. There's no confusion why yeah, they're there because yeah, 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 right. you know sometimes yeah. like people go to the comedy clubs to get a date to just yeah. like socially lubricate That's, the group or something. Sure. They don't really even want to be there. But like all those people are there for comedy, yeah. and that's dope. That's that, that, that's actually a really great point because you know it's like uh, you drove out to the beach to see comedy. It's not like you're right. And then, and you and then with outside shows, what I'm seeing is 
you might get 15% of your people there who are just walkers by. Who are just like, hey, what do you guys, they see people and they're like, so no, they're right not now, charging for tickets then. Some people are doing like donations, like, you know, hey, can you Venmo? Uh, but some people are just like, I think because there's not a lot of going on in the world as much as before that when people see a comedy show, they're like, oh, it'll give me something to do for two hours or hour, you know, kill time. Mm-hmm. You're just like, oh, it's like some kind of entertainment. It's almost like a street performer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, something to keep you busy. You're like, oh, I was going to sit at the beach and do nothing for three hours. Now I can watch comedy or whatever for an hour. Now let me ask you, down in Santa Monica by the pier, are there mm. still street performers or no? You know? Oh, that's a good you question. See, like, are my- uh, yeah, I've, 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 did see, I've seen some since all of this. Like, yeah. Because I felt like those guys now got a real audience. Yeah, like, yeah, now you got everybody <laughs> captive, right? Yeah, no, most of the time you're like, oh, that dude's screeching in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> those those guys make, uh, I think those guys are making like 100 uh, some of some are making ninety, hundred thousand dollars. Oh, a year. Like, good. who told you this? Yeah, I this watched is... a documentary on it. <laughs> I watched, I watched a documentary on it. it was like, these guys are like, the ones in Santa Monica. They have to pay, they have to pay like five thousand dollars or something to get a permit. Well, I know so, that it's a permit thing, and they got to wait in like line. Thirty eight hundred, maybe. Yeah. and it's hard. Well, now, now are those guys being masked up too, or is no? It, uh... No, this guy was just like I saw a guy on the the, the Spanish guitar singing like John D- John Mayer type songs. Oh, uh, he mean. wasn't Carlos Santana. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like women weren't lining up to make love. Yeah, I don't know. I, my, my, uh, he's so good. I don't know. I think the most. I feel. I mean, hopefully everybody's back out. I mean, I miss my annoying black street performers. Those those are my favorite. The guys are just like. Build. Why they gotta be black? Because because I think black formers are in a special league of their own. Like they're the most anticlimactic f- performers ever. They will get you so hyped. They're like everybody. They do this like clap. Like, everybody like doing this for twenty yeah, minutes. Yeah, and then just a hype, and, yeah, then and, they, wa- and then they just flip over you. They they wait forty minutes and just gonna flip over and somebody. One guy <laughs> does one flip. Right, 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 right. I know them. It's like all right, thank you guys. You're like what? That was it. They got, I'm gonna, and they're going to make racist jokes and then flip over an Asian person. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, we're basically every talking. Black <laughs> we are talking about Venice Beach, <laughs> Santa Monica, out here on the West Coast. Yeah. What about in Hollywood, the silver guy uh-huh. who oh, has yeah. the whistle in his mouth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now, are the, are those, Silver guys out of work, man. Are yeah. those two different leagues? Do you think, like uh, the Hollywood League versus the Venice I, performance? I, 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 I would those. say so. I would say Santa Monica is at the top. The, the you're on your oh, show. for sure. Those guys, those people on Hollywood Boulevard. Some of those are just unlicensed guys <laughs> with Spider Man yeah. like shit from Halloween. Yeah. It was yeah. news in Los Angeles when Batman died. The uh, Batman, yeah, from, yeah, 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 from the Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. But like the unlicensed guys go there, and the licensed guys try to fight them. It's a big deal. Oh wow. Yeah, I saw yeah, a guy. That, that was a documentary. For yeah, yeah. That was, <laughs> yeah. Well, now, Stevie, let me get. Hold on. Let me tell. Let me ask about you because I've always, yeah. I've always enjoyed your perspective mm-hmm. as as a true non comedian. And did yeah, you? Ha, okay. Yeah, yeah. Tell me first off, like where you come from, how you get to L. A. You started out in in the By agency boat, side. Ellis Island. Did you? No. Uh, <laughs> I was like Jesus. <laughs> your, like an your accent yeah. is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I. I Came to L.A., gosh, 10 years ago um, after school. And from where? Yeah, we're part University of Massachusetts. Nice. So East Coast. Party um, school or no? It it was, but it was like we got it when it was on the downturn. You know, no. it, and people who are there are probably mm-hmm. like, no, it's crazy. I'm sure it, it still yeah. is. But, like, when we, we inherited the campus, hearing stories of, like, just legendary 70s Ridiculous. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Animal House was that school. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And and and, and just drugs. Back when you guys had a good basketball team you know? back in the nineties. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was little. It was uh, we had the Trevioso and uh, Mark Mark Camby, Camby, yeah, Marcus Camby, Camby and all Camby. them. Yeah, before that the squad back you know. in the day. And the, t- the coach was doing illegal shit. Right, 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 right. right, right. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a whole scandal. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah. I had no idea. They were good. Camby, Camby, used Camby was yeah, he was the biggest. So they were just paying them off. Yeah, yeah, that was the big thing when we were in college, just paying them off. <laughs> right, no, still like, is, it still is. They're, they're totally. doing, uh, well, they exactly. just do it cr- more creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now <laughs> I, heard, I heard for a, a blue chip, you know, top ten guy right now in basketball in college, the going rate is like between one fifty two hundred k for a year. Oof. Jesus, they did a doc. I watched a really good documentary on HBO, and they, the guy who was dealing with that stuff, who got charged by the FBI, he just told everything, and he was just like, "Yeah, the, a player right now, you get a one hundred and eighty, you get, you get." Cause Zion got in trouble, and they say Zion was at getting a hundred. He got one hundred eighty or two hundred to go to Duke. Well, I know a bunch of people, a Alleged, bunch of allegedly. college. Allegedly. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> the FBI arrested a bunch of people that for, work for Adidas. Oh yeah, Tony. Co- Pl- oh yeah. Yeah, that, that was a big. I yeah, I don't exactly know who the, but I 
I hear that they haven't indicted everyone yet, but like a bunch of people quit their jobs and left. And, you know, now that the world has changed, I don't know if it's it, harder to hide all that stuff. Well, yeah. But I don't know if it looks good for the FBI to be arresting college people yeah. for trying to make a few extra bucks right now. True. And you they're know, all like, doing it, man. It's like you don't have a top top five program every year and somebody's no kids not getting kids don't go to college because then you don't get five top 10 players to leak to go to go to your college as freshmen and not get the ball and average 10 points a game because they just like being around each other it's no like, I, don't, I don't buy that whole like oh they true just yeah. really wanted to, to to just be around each other and and have a good coach <laughs> i'm like yeah these dudes are going to league in a year they don't give a fuck about i i, I don't know it's like I, if if I was that athletically talented that a school was was gonna pay me, I, I don't I don't know if I could say no. I don't know if I'm strong enough. Are you, Steve? Say you were I, I, yeah, say you were the, the the Jew fucking god going into you <laughs> Wait, you're yeah. Jewish? Jew guy. <laughs> Jew guy. This is license right? plate. That was your name, yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? Because in uh the Jewish yeah. guy with ups. Yeah, you know, yeah. Jesus Jewish, Jew Jewish Jordan. <laughs> You said a Jesus Shuttleworth. Well, I mean, Jewish, look, yeah, you're, you're gonna you're gonna want to see how Abraham Shuttleworth. <laughs> you're gonna want to see Abraham Shuttleworth. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna want to see how how you know how long you can milk it, given that at a certain point, you know, like yeah, you gotta you, cap. You're, you're you're, what's the longevity? I mean, I don't, maybe yeah. you guys know, like, what's the longevity of a player? You know, three, it's, four, it's three, four years in NBA, probably. at most, right? Like yeah. like on average, so yeah. and they might not even make it pro. There's only two rounds in the NBA right. draft. There's no way you don't take a hundred thousand dollars, especially if your family's not well it, off. Right, like and they, really they, they need help with stuff. It's to, like it's to more play for four months. Let right. me ask you, Steve: Would your parents approve if they found out you did that? I mean, they'd probably, they'd probably. I don't know if if it was a moral. Con Here's the thing: It's like, would if they benefited, how much would that? How much would their shame? Or did be? you hide it from them? Right, or or did. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and and a new car just shows up in their dro yeah, driveway. Yeah, he's like, like, Where did this come from? from? Mercedes <laughs> too. Like, he's dropped the rims. Keys off, yeah. And he's like, your parents like, I don't ask for this. He's like, look, yeah, I just yeah. dropped the stuff off. I didn't ask for this. It's got a tractor. I don't get it. I don't need a Mercedes. Now. Mercedes <laughs> it's yours now. It's look, fine, that's not my business. I just yeah, dropped yeah, the stuff yeah. off. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to talk to you about it. So yeah, you know, it could speak for itself. It could be one of those situations, or. You know, there there'd be like a. I feel like my mom would be less accepting than my dad. My dad would would ask fewer questions, and and I could just be like, oh yeah, you yeah. came from this, and he'd be like, oh cool, good job, son. My yeah. mom would be like, well wait, so uh, you got it from this? Well, yeah. she, yeah. she's a little more to of a me, tech, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad would, yeah, he yeah. would totally have been like, you better take that fucking money. <laughs> my mom would have been like, what? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> little, Is this legal? She, she, <laughs> mo yeah, moms, moms inherently, I think, are a little more, and of course. There's examples to the contrary, but I feel like the, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's moms connect a little things more moral. More. Yeah. yeah, right. They connect things more, and there's more moral. Uh, yeah, so more of a moral. They, compass, they say I that guess. women are. My my dad went to therapy, and he says that his therapist told him that men are like uh, pancakes, and women are like waffles, and problems and, and things in the world, like whatever issues in the world, are like syrup, and like men. And they, yeah, so men are like waffles. So. Uh, so women connect everything like syrup, like it falls on a pancake. It's everything's connected, like right. You can't be a good father and then be a shitty husband, you know. Like, <laughs> but for a man, it's all compartmentalized, oh, like a waffle. Oh, that's so it's it. like, oh, you can be like a drug dealer, but also be a really good husband. I was right. wondering right. where right. you were going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there you go. It started out yeah, dicey, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah. through it though. Yo, yeah, I got through it. First pa pancake analogy, twenty twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was better, good, pancake. bro. Pancakes and waffles, man. That's uh, that's uh. <laughs> so that's, Stevie. <laughs> You, yeah. <laughs> you, you, UMass, you don't accept the hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. You come, I say, I say you look, graduate. I'm going to earn my own. Yes, yeah, you, know, so you thank you. Yeah, thank you, you very turn much. it down, <laughs> and then you come to L.A. Come to L.A. A free uh, man, no bonds of the NC2A. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 none of that. We were D1 AA anyway, yeah, so yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, it's not. Uh, <laughs> oh, did they go to AA? D D1 AA. Yeah, wow. we we. Uh, what happened? They had oh, a because good, of that. May maybe because of the the Camby thing, but yeah. Aside from basketball, they had a good. Uh, Good lacrosse program. I was going to say, uh, yeah. Yeah, good lacrosse program. Hockey, Hockey too. Yeah. Uh, but beyond that, Whoa. I mean, football Yeah, they were sucked. so good back then. Yeah. Good. And yeah. then you came to L.A. So, you so wait, to what'd LA, you yeah. graduate? What? what year? No, what would you with? Like oh, business? Communication. Mark, communication. It, but it was it was interesting. My, my senior year, what kind of inspired the move was senior year, um, 
we had one of our alums who was an EP on Grey's Anatomy, mm. and he came and spoke to this uh, screening class. Is that, that McSteamy in. show? Is that the McSteamy? Uh, yeah. Grey's Anatomy? Yeah. Maybe. I don't, I, know. I don't, Mc, watch, Mc, I don't watch. McDreamy <laughs> is, McDreamy <laughs> is yeah, yeah, I watched one episode. Okay. McDreamy, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was making sure the right Burp show. Yeah, one yeah, yeah. episode. <laughs> McSteamy sounds like a... <laughs> like 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 a uh, uh, <laughs> no, that's what they call me actually like because a, the steam room. The steam room. Uh, I actually right. forgot. Really? <laughs> yeah, they call me McSteamy, <laughs> and they get that. I was like, I was like, that sounds too familiar. <laughs> they they call me McSteamy. McDreamy. Oh, that, that. <laughs> McSteamy. 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 Yeah. Oh, McSteamy over here. McSteamy. <laughs> trying to trying to give away his nickname. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't but, mean to yeah. put him on somebody else. That's so funny. Uh, but yeah, so, so he spoke to our class and, and basically was like, look, if you, if you have any aspirations to be in an entertainment, be in the industry, any of that stuff, you got to move to LA. And at that point I hadn't really considered entertainment as a path. Really? This is senior year of uh, college. Yeah. Cause up until that point I was, my path was, was sports. Like uh-huh. I was, I was, I'd taken internships at like a uh, minor league baseball team back in New York where I'm from. I interned for the giants, the football team, my, my junior year. Year they won the Super Bowl, uh, didn't get a ring. Still waiting for that. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, yeah. They give you any kind of certificate? Or have, yeah, no, no, no. You were interning the Eli Manning year. Yeah. yeah. Ah! Wait a minute. Time wow. out. Time out. So, do they give? Do other people in the organization? Does everybody else get a ring? I don't think front front office personnel probably do. Okay, okay. I mean interns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they give you a thirty thousand dollar ring. <laughs> no, 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 no. But uh, but yeah. So sports was just sort of the path for a while, and then that class happened, and then. Uh, guy speaks and I was like, Oh, you know, I have a passion for writing. I'm good at that. I didn't know that the, there was screenwriting or films or, you know, I didn't know how any of that was made, but here's this guy saying like, Oh, if you want to be a part of that, come to LA. So, wow. So you, that's great. Did he offer you an internship? He didn't. We met for lunch though. And oh, really? That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he bought me a chicken parm sandwich. It was oh, wow. wow. From where? Where'd you guys go? Uh, somewhere in Ventura. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Somewhere or in Ventura, uh, like Studio City, or Ventura the street. Or you know, county. I could probably pull it up. I probably still have the emails. Ventura <laughs> County, <laughs> Ventura County, or Studio City? No, Ventura County. Oh yeah, wow! Yeah. Oh, oh, far. Wow, that's yeah, far. Yeah, that's yeah, not, yeah. LA. not even LA. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, like yeah. an hour. Yeah, yeah, I've been known to drive further for. He's like, look, man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a liar, man. He's like, I'm, I'm, a fraud, man. I don't really live in LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that where, was that where Grey's Anatomy was shooting? No, I think, I think that's where he, he lived. Oh, okay. So it was like, it was more, you know. I'm I'm a guy just fresh off the plane. He's not gonna meet me somewhere convenient to me, you know? right? Which I, if if the roles are reversed, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Ventura's do it, do it either. Uh, but yeah, it was yeah. not not what I expected. I was like, oh, what okay, you, like half hour. Drive. What if he lived in LA but just wanted you to see how much you wanted it? Like, <laughs> yeah. Meet me for lunch at Ventura. You're like, huh? Like, and then he's running late. He's, he, he's yeah. like, I'm leaving WeHo, man. I'll, I'll be up there. <laughs> like, see how much you want it. <laughs> well, I mean, he made the travel from. Boston, yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. So all, all, all inspired by him, yeah. So wow. So that was sort of yeah. That was initially the 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 jump, and the only thing that really tied me to LA at that time was the beginning of I think it was like mid senior year. Uh, I was drinking beers in my room by myself in my apartment. You remember which, it, huh? Which dude? Because because this was epic. It was mm-hmm. like. You know how, I mean, at this point, it's a cliche thing, but you're, it's like you send out your resume to a bunch of places yeah. and, <laughs> you know, you don't know what the fuck you're doing anyway then. Yeah. So it's like you send out your resume and, and amateur move and you're like, oh, like I, I was drinking beers in my apartment and I was l- listening to iTunes. And you remember iTunes had the like the the the, 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 the multicolored like this is like 2009. So mm-hmm. you listen to iTunes and it would have those the wheel. Yeah. The, yeah. The little yeah. wheel. Like, that, and, and yeah. So so I'm like probably drinking, smoking, just like watching the wheel. And um, (laughs) it clicks that like, oh, hey, these are all actually professional artists. I could probably hit up their management team or hit them up and be like, yo, can I work for you? So literally whatever was being listened to was like Chili Peppers, Sublime, you know, all that stuff. 10, 12 artists. I just look up online, like how to get in cut. And I'm sure it was like all booking managers, agents. Again, Mm. people have no idea who they are. Yeah. Send out all these emails. Nobody gets back to me except this one company based in LA, Silverback Management. Wow. wow. And this guy, Jess, who ended up becoming one of my best friends, mm-hmm. he he calls me like the next week. He's like, hey, man, so got your resume here. When can you come in? And I'm like, uh, bro, I'm a, I'm a senior in college. <laughs> oh, wow. In, wow. In, in Massachusetts. And, and he's like, so you, you, you can't come in for an interview? Yeah. 
<laughs> He's like, what? The planes don't work now. So, <laughs> like, like, uh, so you don't. You, yeah, you don't want this. But, <laughs> but anyway, like, uh, I got class. You want it, bro. Yeah, yeah. How bad do you want it? So, so that began this sort of six month stint where I would just promote their. Um, so they, I guess they they represent a lot of the Cali reggae dub bands and. Their biggest client was Sublime back in the day. Oh, shit. And, Sublime, uh, too. Yeah, yeah. And so I would just go around. I, I, I guess they're one of their biggest clients now is Slightly Stupid. Mm-hmm. And so I would kind of go around the Amherst campus and just throw up posters and promote their shows. And, you know, at the time, I was like, fuck, yeah, this is cool. Yeah, yeah you fell apart or something. And, and A so one-man street team. One-man, bingo. Yeah. And so that was sort of uh, th- the vision was like, all right, if I come out to L.A., I've got these guys that said I could intern for them here in the city. Yeah. And then I could try to figure out the film TV thing whatever that looks like, yeah. and then it just kind of grew from there. And then how long after that uh, you get that job? How long? Because you, you worked agency for a little it while. It was agency, yeah. So so that was, gosh, that's, you know, summer 2009, and then... Time flies, huh? Dude. And then, you know, I'm work, I'm interning for them, start doing some more street team Who, stuff. Who's that? Uh, uh, that Sil- Silverback. Silverback. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. S- interning for Silverback. And then, uh, gosh, it was probably May the following year where... I started working at CAA, and and you like it. It in was the a mail room, experience. or like it you start off in mail room? No, on a desk. Oh, oh wow, yeah, wow. that's, that's a lot yeah. going straight from dude. It was <laughs> crash course, crash <laughs> yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You curse out? You curse out? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. But generally, I think the the guys I worked for were were pretty. And what women, department you were know? you in? Started in reality TV, and okay. then moved to feature lit for about six months. My boss left. I kind of was like, should I leave? Should I go? An opportunity in comedy opened up on the talent side. And at that point, that was like, oh, shit. I didn't think talent was ever going to be the way into comedy. Uh-huh. But that's always where I wanted to be. So it was like, wow, here we are. And then and then actually, that's kind of that's when everything kind of started to, to take off. Like at the time, that's when I met Andy, uh, our buddy Andy Cozell. And, oh, and, uh, Cozell. Mm-hmm. and okay. dude, did you ever hear how we met? No, no. we were. So this is 2012. Andy Cozell comic. He yeah. was guest host. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, we, it's 2012. I'm working in comedy on the agency side. We're on a, we're getting onto a plane flying from Boston back to LA. Uh-huh. He had gone to a wedding. We'd gone to, each gone to a wedding separately, different weddings. He was supposed to be with his girlfriend at the time. They broke up. Mm. So there was an extra open seat next to him on this plane. Mm. Me and my buddy come in late and the only two seats... All right, so I guess there's two seats next to Andy are on his, on, on Andy's row or whatever. Yeah. Nobody wanted to sit next to Andy <laughs> on Southwest. <laughs> well, this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's crazy. Correction, correction. <laughs> there, there was a girl the next to him. Only two seats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only two seats. Andy's by himself. No, there, there was a girl next to him, but it was like it was like her empty seat, Andy, and it was the only possible combination where my buddy Mike and I could have sat next to each other. Okay. So we asked her. We're like, hey, can you take our seat? We sit down next to Andy, yeah. and he's like, these guys feel like they're drunk. Like, he's not giving us any attention yeah. or whatever. But I see him writing a script. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, dude, you're, you're in the business? It was that casual. And then yeah. all of a sudden, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm a comic. And I was like, oh, really? And then we just get talking. The uh, TVs are busted on this old 787, and yeah. the, wait, the stewardess just keeps feeding us nips. Because uh-huh. she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. You're, you're the only TVs on the plane that are busted. And we're yeah, like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You're, we're getting drunk with you. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... At, at the end of the plane ride, I think either he might have dropped us off or yeah. something happened. He gave, gave me his card, and ever since, we've been best wow. friends. We had a business wow. card. Dude, Andy wow. Cozell had yeah, his <laughs> headshot <laughs> on two, it two, and everything. 2000, 2012, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And so at that time, what was weird about that was some of the guys we I was working with on the agency side were part of, you know, the crew now, or the crew that I'm part of with you yeah. guys. Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. Like, like, you know, with the, the Santinos of the world and, and all those guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so, like, one day I'm hanging out with Andy and Brady and we're, you know, poolside at, like, I don't know, some random Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, like, business and personal life is all colliding. And I'm like, this is fucking weird, but also organic, you know? It, it, felt, mm-hmm. it felt really cool. So. Yo, wow. Stevie, I got to say that's, you know, you are, you know, before I, before I praise you. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we give Stevie the air horn on that. Uh, That's you're uh. you're a good dude. You've, oh, thanks, you know man. the thing is with all your steps and moves and Murph, yo, a yeah. guy from LA, guys who've been in LA a yeah. long time, people get jaded mm-hmm. and they start Great. to like lose sight of who they are sure. and they become 
somebody else, like mm. a mask of who they were. I, in the time I've known you, you've always been genuine. You've stayed who you are, uh, you know, true to who you are. And, you, you know, you, you always have interesting, insightful things to say. And, goddamn, I... Th- one more time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, we love it, man. Oh, gosh, uh, I love it. One more no, time. Yeah, yeah, you're super. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's not. No. Well, it is time, though, for something else, though, Stevie. Hold on. Let's see here. Let's do. Let's see. Welcome. Ooh. Nope. Not no. that one. No. Okay, here we go. Yep. It's time, Ooh. Stevie. <laughs> it is this? time. Oh, right wow. now. I like that. We get it switched right. over. This show's got production. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. To our man in the newsroom. Oh Ooh. wow! And I think you guys listen because I'm gonna. I got questions for you about this news. This I find this fascinating, I'm ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Brian I Schlesinger. I didn't know we were gonna get tested. <laughs> so no, no, it's question. <laughs> questions. Oh. It's question. You can fail and nothing happens. Oh good. Ladies good. and gentlemen, Brian Schlesinger. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Tonight on the Brian Moreno. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, uh, T Rex sold for thirty one point eight million dollars. Explain, Obviously, explain what T Rex is. Please. It's a band that no, not the band. Uh, it's actual uh, bones that were found way back in like seventy six uh, by a gentleman by the name of Stan. So this dinosaur is named Stan, uh, and the bones were found in South Dakota, uh, and. It's the largest collection and the most put together of any T-Rex. Mm. So you're still missing like almost half, if not more, and you have to pay $31.8 million for it. Um, for half a T-Rex? Yeah. I mean, so they're saying that the excavation and the restoration took over 300,000, thir- sorry, 30,000 man hours, which is a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot for some shit we don't really need. I still think it's like $100,000 an hour <laughs> is a little steep. All right, I'll put it on the screen for you guys. This is Stan. Oh, wow. $32 million. He's 13 feet tall. He's 40 feet long. So in order to have Stan or to afford Stan, you got to have somewhere to put Jesus him. Jesus Christ, yeah. man. That's yes, crazy. and we That's have only, no half a Stan. And we wow. have no idea who bought Stan. It is an anonymous. Correct. And it's in no relation to Eminem Stan. Oh. <laughs> these people buy these things and, like, I'm surprised it never gets out. Like, who has it? Like, nobody goes to the party and is like, this well, motherfucker has a dinosaur. That's right. my question. <clears throat> Like how does it stay still, still stays so secret for I so long? I think it's going to be like a major developer that's going to build this crazy, huge $500 million house like it's happened in the past, and they'll just put, put a, a dinosaur there. Uh, you know, maybe have like, you know, green, uh, like an indoor, uh, outdoor inside house, mm. inside out house. That's fucking crazy. I don't know. Uh, people people <laughs> would just come to the party just to take pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you gotta, yeah, Instagram. Okay, okay so yeah. I guess this is, there's a lot of questions I have with yeah, 32 sure. million for a fossil, That's right? Crazy. You don't get no no shelter with it. You don't get no rims. I would, I would. <laughs> like, you don't get anything but the fossil, okay? I would have given a record. So my question is, like, how much money do you have to have in the bank for you to drop 32 mil? For me, 500 mil. So you have to have an a half a billion dollars. I'd have to have half a billion dollars in my bank account. I don't even so know. I think I think you need Bezos money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah just yeah, straight yeah, up yeah. Where, where money doesn't even. My question, yeah, I think, true. It, it's like a the, better question would be: What do you do with the dinosaur, and why are you buying it? What, what, you know? Why would you spend, uh, you know, one fifteenth of your net worth have on sex a with dinosaur? It. You have sex with it. <laughs> so, so you put, it, you, put it, you sit. Yeah, never mind. I won't say that. But it's like you wanted the teeth. One of the teeth is sharp. You sit on it. Okay, if you're tooth. real into anal stimulation. <laughs> or for a young lady. Well, for $32 million, do you know how many people you could hire to stick things in your ass? I would I would sell him a replica. He wouldn't even know. Who you going yeah, yeah, yeah. to question? Well, I'm like, it's if authentic. You, if you have $32 million, you can get things carbon dated and... Uh, well, what, but what if the what if the orgasm what if the anal orgasm from a thirty two or how how old yeah. is this, is this how thing? old it's yeah. sixty seven million years sixty seven million year old oh, fossil wow. well, is like I, the best orgasm yeah you know? <laughs> <It's an old laughs> <laughs> you know what I would do and or, they found it in South Dakota of all places which I think is interesting you know what I would do is uh, 
if I had money, like just Basil's money, get the dinosaur, extract. Can you extract DNA from it and like sell? So start growing sales from it. Yeah, have some like sell there, you know, like and grow one. Oh, grow Jurassic a fucking, Park. Yeah, 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 grow your own fucking dinosaur. That's what I would do, and grow a real one. From off that. I mean, I, the bones. The, the, wow. this is the problem. Okay, in Jurassic Park, dun, dun, they made people dun, dun, think dun. that the step from extracting DNA to actually growing an embryo is like. Yeah, no yeah, big yeah. deal. Right, right. It's like one through ten. It's yeah. just science. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's a really hard thing to fucking do. Because oh if not, True. everyone would be cloning dogs like all the time. You know, you would never. Which they do. You know. Well, they do in other <laughs> countries. You know, they it's illegal in this country. Mm-hmm. But thirty-two mil, man. Thirty-two mil is a lot of money. It's a lot of. Can you buy an NBA team with that? No, that's too little. No. How much are NBA teams? <laughs> Uh, you could have bought five hundred half. You could have bought the worst. Well, no, no. I'm sorry. No, you could buy steak. No, hold on, hold on. The Clippers sold for two billion. Billion. Yes, two billion. You could have bought the Red yeah, Sox, but, but I'm the in lower side. For it would be million. 400, 500 million. No, I don't think there's. I don't. Th- I think the cheapest sports franchise anymore. I don't think we're getting below billion for because that's an exclusive club. Like American royalty is basically us. Uh, uh, franchise owners, you yeah, know, like the crafts and people right, like that. Right, right, right. That's the closest. Even thing the bad we franchises are still making money, like in the NBA at least. Sh- sure, even are the, the bad are, ones, are, yeah, are, are still the, profitable. Are the Jets still making money though? Absolutely, one hundred percent. I mean, this year might be break even, but absolutely. I mean, yeah. and the Jets are. Are is you a Jets fan? Giants fan. So oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Equal, I mean, equal, equal shitty boat I, right now. Yeah, you I know, thought, you guys bring up an interesting point. Perhaps it's a franchise owner that's going to buy this thing and just put it at the stadium. If he's really b- interesting, if yeah. he's really baller, New dino mascot. Right? Oh wow, that would be crazy. Yeah, I think if you're really but baller, you have a thirty-two you, million. You buy statue. it and you bury it again. <laughs> yeah. That's what I would do. You bury it. You again. buy it and you bury it again, <laughs> and you guys, you bury it again, and you guys have like people over for parties and try to dig it up or something like that, like like uh, excavate, ex- ex- oh, excavate. Oh yeah, like how Hazel buries her. Yeah, bones yeah, 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 yeah. You got a dog. You buy. You get it for your dog. That's how rich you are. <laughs> you bury it in a yard somewhere and get it for your dog. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, you have balling. to be really into dinosaurs or like them or, and and have a lot of money. People so are still digging these things I'm sure up. It'll like, come up who it is. We'll so my guess, Murph, who who do you think? bought it um i'm gonna go elon musk elon mm. musk elon i musk. mean he he just that's made a, a ton guess. of money steve ladd who do you think bought sense. it yeah that's you, a good guess I, I yeah you, you, you elon musk you get that you get that the dinosaur hit what do you, you fuck people up you get to mars first and put that shit on mars that's yeah. funny. bury it and then you people put, would lose the their past fu- on the future yeah, yeah exactly that's oh, people would lose wow. their minds they're like yo there's a fucking dinosaur head on <laughs> the mars hilarious what, <laughs> you if, just blew what my if he mind. puts it as a hood ornament <laughs> yeah. on the next spaceship that's so funny. <laughs> he's like yo that's so funny <laughs> like baller he's like yo i don't Man. know it's it's uh has to be somebody with absurd kind of money oh Steve? for sure uh, what do you think I don't know, off the cuff, Mark Cuban, because he feels uh, like a, he feels yeah, like yeah. he feels like an alt- altruistic guy. Maybe he maybe he put do something mm. for the kids, you know. Well, yeah. if, they, if they, someone should buy it and put it in a museum so people can and see it. Sure. Yeah, well, really how, how how does one care? To, it, to your point, how how are you caring for this dino in your own? Right, personal it was business? in a museum, like it was where it should be. So you know, he's gonna have to. It ha- also begs the question: Is this person buy it and just pay for it and leave it there, or? Or do you, you hire it and take possession? Oh, and then you can rent it out or, or whatever. That's not a bad rent idea. It out for what, a if, party? what if that's your thing? And you're, <laughs> I'd charge five dollars to come here and see that, <laughs> yeah. right? Well, because that because put that's it out they, on the patio, make your money back in hundred years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> make your money back in longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. All right, you're uh, well, so that's funny. that's what they do with uh, paintings, right? <laughs> it's like you can you can own a painting and then loan it out to galleries and stuff like that. I mean, I was gonna say it, it would have to be like a scientist, someone who is, yeah, but. Someone who also has a lot of money, Elon Musk, could be that dude. Could be. When 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 do we when do we get to find out? Do you know? Uh, or is I, it is it like top secret still, and there's no plans? I to actually yeah. know. I just don't want to reveal who it was yet because I don't want to get in oh, trouble. Oh, so we do know. Oh, you do know. No. Oh, uh. I was like, yes, mother. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was such a good news story. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I actually have late breaking wow. news. No. Oh, this we do? No. This just in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brian, you got one more for us. And this is our this is our alternate, and you guys also have to, we gotta do a vote, our mm. alternate Next news story. background. Okay. Oh wow. Mm. This is a, a little, little more sexier. 
well, a little, a little different. Sexier. And this is, and this is, a, and you know, this is another big one. I, Cause I'm really curious about what you guys say about this. Good evening. I'm Brian Schlesinger. No. Uh, which uh, uh, let's do the I cruise have. line. Let's do the cruise line. So there is a graveyard for cruise ships because nobody's taking cruise in the ocean and, or and like nobody, above ground. In well, Turkey. it's in Turkey. It's in a shipyard. So I've been it's to Turkey. Like, yeah. Well, you might want to go back and start slanging some ships. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Wait, are they functional ships? It's uh, the, yeah. They ship them there and then they take them all apart and they sell all the parts for collectors or whoever could buy them. I guess. Uh, okay. But there's a ship graveyard and yeah. who knows how many others are going to be involved. Like who wants to get on a ship? I don't, mm. I feel like before it was dying. You know, people don't like to. There were a lot of diseases and stuff. Everything happens on the ship. Right. And everybody gets sick and you're screwed. First question: You've been on a cruise, Brian Schlesinger? Several. Yeah. Several. Yeah. Steve Latin cruise. Yes. 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 I've been on. David I've been Murphy. On one cruise. One cruise. One cruise. Was Mike. it a booze cruise? Real cruise? No, it was like a <laughs> my, my my booze cruise. My uh, my father got in a argument with my stepmom right before a Christmas and cruise. This is day. when he got the therapist because he was fucking yeah. the therapist. Oh. And then so. And then, so my dad, they, she canceled. She said she's not getting on it. And he called me two days before, and he's like, you want to go on a cruise with me? I go, is it free? And he goes, yeah. And so. Your dad would have made you pay to go I, on a Yeah, my dad would have to do. Well, he, well yeah. but you got to make sure before yeah, you like, commit. Yo. Right. And you're an adult. When you're an adult, your parents are like, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, is it free? Yeah. He's like, all right, great. Send me $1,000. <laughs> you know, no, yeah. no, and then what happened was, the, the funniest thing about cruises as you guys have been on, this is my first and only cruise. I didn't realize how the mental part of not using money, like how that you keep charging drinks and it seems like free. You know, oh, you're charging drinks all week. Your, you're like, your oh. yeah, charge yeah. them over. Try, I'm buying for drinks for people. Charge them my dad's room. Charge them my dad's room. <laughs> and they slid that. They slid that fucking paper under the door that last day, Woo! that last morning. And my, cause my dad wasn't. He was always going to sleep at night. You know, he, I'm, like, oh, <laughs> I'm coming back. Yeah. Yeah. And my dad's like, what the? He's like, he's like, what the fuck were you drinking all week? I was like. I was having a good time. Uh, <laughs> I was yeah. like, uh, I as, it was you're a walking, it's a as you're walking, it's a cruise. As you're walking, everybody's yeah. like, "Hey, thanks for the yeah, drinks." Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So how does everybody know you on a ship? I was like, yeah, at like a five hundred something dollar bill. <laughs> he was like, "What the fuck are you drinking?" <laughs> 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 I was like, "Hey, man, what do you cruise? mean? There's nothing to do on a ship but drink." drink you should have seen these girls though. Oh yeah, the Swedish, girls, Swedish <laughs> girls are on. Yeah, there's yeah, yeah. Swedish girls on the thing. Was there was there gambling on that on that cruise? There was gambling. Can't charge that to the room. Uh, there was gambling. I've never forget this cruise because the piano guy, the guy who played Martin, his name was Martin, who played the Martin. piano, young guy, young, good looking guy, <laughs> played the piano. He's like doing the entertainment late night at the bar. He got kicked off the ship in, in Mazalan because he was talking or about to hook up one of the chicks, the, the, the guests, you know? Yeah. And they're not supposed to be on the. Oh, that's super. You get caught on yeah. that floor. And they put his ass off the boat. And they're like our fourth day, literally uh, in Mexico. Wow! Where everybody's like, "Where's Martin?" They're like, "He got kicked off the boat." I, That's I've so actually, sad. Yeah. It I've like heard you had a good relationship so, so he with has, Martin. Did Martin <laughs> yeah. yeah, did Martin have to find his way home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I think they might make you responsible to get your ass back. They're like, yo, no, these are yeah. it's real. Because the lawsuits that can maritime happen. Maritime like, law, but th that's where like, it's a, a lawsuit. Cruise ship law. Because if you, well, if cruise you, ships, if you're an entertainer or performer, yeah, you, you cannot, cannot be talking to anybody. All. You have to stay. You can't be on the foot. You're not even supposed to be drinking if you're an employee. And these girls are throwing it at him because he's everybody. playing. He's a good looking guy. He's cool and he's like young and like talented and like the girls are drinking every night next to him. You start to build a relationship. You're like, oh, we're, we're going to hang out with you tomorrow. There's not a lot to do. So he's at the only cool bar. <laughs> right. And then everybody, I guess he was some girls are a little too friendly or he got too friendly. And then he walked one of them to the room. They said, because I asked some other uh, people to work on the ship. They said he walked a girl to her room. And they said, you can't even be on the fucking, like, but guess what? She, she was, was freaking scared, wasted. Yeah. Yeah. She was wasted. Yeah. She couldn't make it back. Yeah. I was worried about her life. You got to stay yeah. down low. You got to stay down but low nah. with, like, Jack. It's the same for comedians. If comedians work the cruise, like, I... Um, oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was told... Uh, but this one I was middle in Florida, and, you know, when people show up to a show, and they're like, oh, can I do five minutes? Yeah. You know, and the guy shows up, and we're talking. He's like, yeah, I... Um, I was working cruise gigs for like the last two, three years. I, I really, you know, I broke up with my girlfriend. So I was like, screw it. And they just drop you off from port to port. And he's like, it started getting real depressing. He's like, I would sneak alcohol on because we weren't supposed to drink. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's like, I got all wasted, started hitting on a crew member. He's Whoa. like, someone sees us making out. They rat on him. Security comes to his room, um, you know, to tell him that he can't. Leave his room anymore, and they're just dropping him off at the wow. next port. Yeah, wow. and he's got to find his way home. 
Yeah, because yeah, the, the lawsuits quarter, are so real on ships. Like, you can, like... Yeah. It's so funny. I'm sorry. And he ended up drinking so much, he got alcohol poisoning at the port. And then he sued And the had cruise. to go to the hospital and, and couldn't get yeah. so yeah, yeah. 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 And sued the cruise ship for letting yeah. him get the alcohol on it. Yeah. Well, did, did, did he get, he the last like, did he get fired in that scenario? Or is it just... Well, no, he, he got fired. Just, yeah, he got let go. Never books anymore. He's like, I got to figure out what to do now. I got to... He's like, Change I his name, man. You got to change his name. <laughs> change his name get back on the ship. I don't know, like what? Okay, you, Stevie, like you're obviously your cruise experiences were a little different. Were you I'm a, nautical, bro? Okay. Nautical. <laughs> were you? Did were you on a cruise as a man or a boy? Boy, I was like, same I was here. Like, I was like, uh, gosh, probably a senior in high school, so like sixteen, seventeen. What would it take for you to be on a cruise right now? If Murph's dad called you with a free yeah. cruise, yeah. would you take yeah. it? Would you, would you say it was free? Or you? Yeah. If, if he tells me he's got the NCAA money, then... Uh, <laughs> it's the, what, what cruise did you, where did you go? It was uh, it was Princess Cruise Line. We went to Alaska. Wow, uh, that's wow. serious. With, that's pretty. With, it was for my mom, my stepmom's 40th birthday. Wow. Oh, wow. So, like, the, the, the highlights of that trip were... Have, have you ever gone, like, actual salmon fishing? In no, that part of the world. So, I ne- I never been so to Canada. What they do? <laughs> <laughs> this is still America, though. Yeah, I yeah. never even been up. No, I'm just saying that far north. Yeah, Minnesota's so, where I stop. <laughs> Seattle. <laughs> that's where, that's where you turn around. So, it, on this, I don't. know. I'm not saying this is how fishing experiences in Alaska are for everyone, but mm-hmm. on this particular cruise, we took a chartered boat out into the waters, and. Like everyone's got a rig in the water and then, you know, the lines start hitting and the, the guys who run the boat, you know, you, you, they help you reel it in, but you're still kind of, you have that experience. Like you're fighting with the fish and then they bring the fish on the boat. And they have these wooden clubs and they just bash the shit out of it. Oh, wow. Just kill them. Like just kill, kill it right there. And concussed, it traumatize concussed. you a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Because like, I, I never seen, <laughs> I never seen a fish just get like my, my grandfather. Ma- has, murdered. Uh, murdered like that. Yeah. Like he, he I'm used to, I'm used to, really to uh, up to that point, like I was used to fishing. You know, with my my grandfather catch had, and release, catch and release, and, yeah. even, and even then he, he he had a boat back in Not uh, now, Long Capone Island style. You 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 uh, yeah exactly. Um, they were fluke fishing in, in Long Island, so you know the the death of the fish would happen after it was carried home in a ice bucket, and my grandfather's like yeah. laying it on the grill, you know. But here it's just I mean there's fish blood flying around and and oh, and, and everybody else oh. is like just kind of cool with it, so you're like all right I guess this is kind of how it is. How, how it is. And then <laughs> the weird part about it was you see this fish get mutilated, and then after the experience, they're like, all right, hey, if you want to eat your fish, we'll send you, you know, we'll, we'll flay it on here, and we'll, we'll mail it back to you. So, oh, really? Yeah, which was kind of... And little Stevie's still crying, like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Dude, Dad. Right. Why'd you take me on this hard trip? <laughs> yeah. Dad, he's, I don't want to He's this. trying to bond and, and me, you know. <laughs> and they're clubbing baby seals. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Oh, my God. He's a seal. <laughs> oh, my God. But did you Easy. have any fresh fish on the boat? Did they uh, uh, make oh, it I don't, fresh I don't know. Free? No. Yeah, I mean, he was like, traumatized, bro. <laughs> I, kinda, after, I just don't know after if he the, ate it. I blocked, I blocked that out. We, we did get it sent home, and, and I did eat it, but it, I remember eating it at home. And but some it some good it, locks. It, yeah, some good locks. It was... Honestly, I, I don't. I can't didn't say it. I didn't enjoy it. It might have been the trauma yeah, into sure. the fish. You Could know? have been the like, CTE or or that. <laughs> the <laughs> the CTE. Yeah, the, the deck hand. <laughs> the CTE. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, the yeah. deck hand was like, "You want to name it before?" I <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you want to call it? Oh, I'll name him. I'll name him Brian. All right, later, Brian. Yeah. But Dad, why did they just kill me? It's so funny. I don't know if I would ever go on a cruise. After that story, Dude. holy <laughs> shit! Not pretty, to, uh, pretty gnarly. And yeah. it's not even that fresh, so they mail it back to you. You're like, <laughs> right? Well, that was that was the thing. <laughs> like, can I, I eat it now? Way fresher <laughs> fish than, 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 than that experience, because at that point, it's, it's frozen, it's store bought. Yeah, you got you know, like five like, days before uh, you eat it. You're you like, know, hey, if you're gonna I'm, do it, you you. You know, you know what's probably but, funny is they probably do that and they probably just had a, a bunch of like already uh, cut up fish. Ones, yeah. But hey, send him a fish. <laughs> hey, send this kid a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what was that kid saying? Brian? Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that kid a fish. It's like to this address. You're like, oh, all right. Insult to injury, you get you get a package. It's, yeah. it's called Cindy on it. You're yeah, like, yeah. You're like, oh, wrong package. Uh, this, isn't, this isn't our fish. Hey, bitch. Did you order the fish? <laughs> yeah. So what would Carnival Cruise have to do to get you on another cruise? Princess. Well, princess. princess. Whatever. Carnival, Any could, one of them. Carnival could just holler and say, hey, we got, we got, we got, we got a 
free Caribbean. Caribbean. You'll go yeah. to the Caribbean. You ain't going to Alaska. But have, have you? I got, mean, well, maybe, maybe. What are there socially distanced cruises? Like, could you? Well, have I don't a know. A cruise? I don't okay. think they're. I don't think they're allowed. To Here's be the thing. Ports. I know that there are a lot of parts available in Turkey. So if you want to build your own cruise, you can make <laughs> a socially distant cruise. Cruise ships are cruise. like the petri dish for for coronavirus. Yeah, so yeah, that's it what everybody's is for getting everything because it's such tight quarters. Yeah. It's you know, like it's like uh, down people, in Florida for old people. You yeah, know, yeah, you can't do conga line just, with a <laughs> coronavirus. Yeah, <laughs> there were people yeah, literally on. stuck on a cruise ship for six months because they weren't allowed to de like to disembark. You plane? Can you imagine disembark? <laughs> Can you imagine if you had to sit in the water? Oh my god, uh, that'd be dude. Oh hell on earth! I would jump, probably jump off and swim. And tell me, a matter of fact, some people would stay in a room for for months. You're at the and shore. The, you know, the cruise room is so small. Sure. And you know, the people would stay in a room. Like, not just stay I on mean, the ship. People would stay in a room for a month. It's claustrophobic on the oh cruise. Did, you, right. did your to cruise think. have a window? Oh, my God. Oh, so, did some, some you get a port room? Mine oh, did. my yeah. God. I had it, like, I oh, would yeah, like, you can't get an inside room. No, oh, no, my God. Really yeah, because, no, no, I, rookie, <laughs> I was, like, nine is, years old. I was sleeping jail, there with my yeah. sister and my cousin, <laughs> right? And my, everyone had this, the family had the nice room. Like, yo, go sit in this little closet. And if you're single, or maybe if you're not single, too, but if you're in a room by yourself, with no, I don't know if the internet was working. Last time we were on a cruise, we had to go to like you had a to go special to, in, place. In a port. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. To, like for Off internet. It wasn't like you were just fucking gonna have internet. It was the internet well, cafe I, on the yes, cruise ship. Exactly. And keep in mind, this is before you know. Oh, with, with this cruise yeah. that we're talking about, this is 2005. Oh, you didn't have, oh. There was no smartphone. You yeah. Know, you, couldn't, you couldn't just pull that up and like oh. search the web. You had to literally. Dude, oh my I remember. God. Check this shit. This is some nerdy shit. <laughs> we we pulled into port, and this was during the summer, so baseball was still happening. And I remember checking my fantasy baseball team in the port. Like that was the driving force. It was like oh after after the God. after the after the salmon fish experience. Yeah, yeah. It was like, yo, man, I, I got. Je- <laughs> <laughs> I have some things I got, to do. I got some starters that are on the bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got. Uh, I, I was gotta waiting for the up. story. I'm like, oh wait, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> got to move damn. these guys. Trying to trying to win a couple of bucks, pops. Holy damn shit. it, man. That's wild. Man. Yeah. I That's mean, I remember when I was young and I went on cruise ships, like I was 13 or 14. What cruise are you going? Do you remember? Yeah, nice. Carnival it was Cruise. Nice. Or pr- <laughs> <laughs> there was no SEAL clubbing on this one. No, no, no. <laughs> it was a brand new ship. <laughs> so funny. And uh, we went to Mexico, and that was the first time I gambled. I was 14 years old and, you know, made friends with the right people, I guess. I was drinking. I lost my virginity. Where are your parents at? They lost were there. They were on the ship. Whoa, I mean, whoa, whoa. it's a ship. Wait, time out. Yeah, they couldn't go far. You lost your virginity on a cruise ship. Yeah. Wait. I mean, you'd have your. You'd have your. Live, you'd have, you're in a room with your parents. No. Oh, really? It's your own room. Well, because there were Whatever. three kids, so it was the kids uh, and the parents. You know. Wow. So you you had sex with somebody in your family. Uh, what? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> somebody in the room. <laughs> I went back to her room. Oh, oh smart, yeah. Smart, obviously, smart. that was yeah. It's always yeah. you know you can never do anything. You must That's, have skipped off the pl- off the oh, boat, huh? I never <laughs> saw my family like, bro, where's Brian been? They're like, check the casino or yeah, 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 the bar right. or something. Yeah. And I'm 14 years old. Ah, did did you did you guys keep in touch after or no? I wanted to. You know, she's actually from Boston. I don't remember her name. First name Sarah, but I don't remember her last name. Wow. And I I wanted to because I was 14. She was 18. Oh, she like molested she was you. So advanced. Oh. You molest, got molested. Like, That's all. Uh, no, but it was pre- the, it was he the probably best. said he was 16. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. He, he no way like he's that. like, I'm 14. <laughs> yeah, no, no 14 year old <laughs> ever <laughs> says I'm 14. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I, I just started coming a couple months ago. <laughs> yeah. I, got, <laughs> I, I just tried just, jerking off yeah, in the I toilet. Did, and I just hit puberty about a year ago. So that should be all good. Yeah, I got a little patch in there. Exactly. You want to check it out? It's like, I'm 16. I'm allowed to be in there. It's you play a pool water. You keep like, you, you pulling hair trying to get longer. Waters, like, yeah. <laughs> oh man, this hair could just get yeah, longer. I, mean, I searched all right. for her. I was like, oh, oh you're in love. Uh, no, well, I mean, at the time it was like, did you I raw was, dog? I felt did like you, so lucky. Did you raw dog at this point? Did you work on him? Yeah, I did. That was actually the first uh, time I. Yeah, oh, that's good. And you the you the brought a condom on the boat. Well, yeah. Oh, you knew you were I think she knew what she was doing. Oh, yeah. Wow. I think she might have been a professional. No, she wasn't. (laughs) A hired hand, if you will. Yeah, yeah. She's like, she's like, works for Carnival. She's on every cruise. (laughs) I met her on the Lido deck. Speaking of. Good job, Sarah. We're going to need you back. We got a crew could leave in a week, too. (laughs) She was discreet, though. Yeah, exactly. She she wasn't. Sarah from Boston, if you're out there, I'm still single. Oh, my God. That's a Lido deck. <laughs> uh, that yeah, 
Jay fun. told us a good prostitute story yesterday, though, at the improv. This will, I love this one. Like, um, okay. uh, older gentleman comes to the improv with a prostitute. Mm-hmm. She goes out to the bar to get a drink, go to the bathroom, meets another dude. Oh, no. Oh, starts no. smashing in the bathroom. Oh, no. Gets oh. kicked out of the improv with the other dude. Oh, my and God. Jay's got to go tell the guy. Yo, the, She's with the yeah. lady of the night you brought is oh, no, no. Well, Oh, is she still on the clock? She's still on his <laughs> clock? There's no yeah. way. She She's might. still on the clock. There's no way. She's trying to get a little side money. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. And she got caught. So oh, I no, guess side by. My, my question in that situation is, do you, if you've already paid, you got to ask for a Ooh. refund, right? Yeah, you got to yeah. ask for money oh, for back. Sure. A discount sure. or something. You got to make a deal. Somebody yeah, you can ask for money money back. Or, or, She's already halfway down the street. Oh, well, yeah. you saw, you got to have a somehow way to, f- you got to know where you found her. Oh, uh, <laughs> man, that she, would be hurt my she's, soul. She's definitely got to give you a plus one for like. Yeah, you know, she got to give you uh, the, hey, look, this I, one's, next one's not. I don't, yeah, next one's not, exactly. Or excuse, just, excuse me, sir. Um, One of your girls that, uh, oh that I hired God. to bring to this comedy club ended up having sex with another man in the restaurant. She's like, I was on my lunch break. Do you guys know her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not, I wasn't on your dime. He told me I need a smoke, <laughs> I I need a smoke break. break right? I need one of my lunch break. Do you offer store credit? That would hurt my soul. That was hurt and, and I guess, uh, last thing, what uh, we're all, I guess, um, the improv was kind of our home. Yeah. I guess they, um, next week, they're going to start serving uh, food and drinks outside. They're going to work on getting stage put up. But I guess my question for both you guys is when do you think we're going to see the crowds and the life that we saw? Because we saw a peak. You know, things, it's peaks and valleys and things go up and down. Yeah, it was crazy. When are we going to see what we, because we saw things, you know, like an early six o'clock Monday show, a hundred people packed, yeah. packing it, you know, like, yeah. and excited to be there. Yeah. Lined and excited, up like, when are you going to see, because right now, I, I say you can only have 30 seats out there or whatever they can have. They might have to have dividers. You know, you might have to RSVP a week yeah. in advance. You don't know. Come with a test or something. I hear. I, I'm hearing. I guess there was no way to do. It. I, I. That's. The, I don't know. I've heard different stuff, but I. I don't know about comedy. I literally have no clue. It's like one of the most frustrating things. I would. I would say maybe a year. Well, the thing is, Murph. I feel like <laughs> you, similar to me, like you had before pandemic. At least you know you could regularly get up in LA. Yeah. You know. You, you, you know you had a little heat behind you. The ball was rolling. And yeah. then for me, I had a complete loss of identity because I'm not really in at the comedy store. I never, you know, never, that was never my crew. <laughs> and, and no, it's, it just wasn't. Like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that it's funny because comedy, comedy works is like, even if you're in with somebody, if those bookers are no longer there when you come back, then it's then, like all yeah, for like, oh, you'll be back to back zero. To, back to zero. Yeah. It's like, they're like, well, that's the thing. I was at There's least no loyalty. at least I knew enough yeah, of, no enough loyalty. executives and people knew that I could draw and I could I knew I could get back in regardless of the change of guard because I'd given that place enough and you know people had extended themselves for me. But in, when it closed out, like I totally lost yeah. vision yeah. of who what I was doing and who I was. I mean, this is one medium in which I believe is going to help. But but when when what do you think? I what do you st- yeah, what, yeah what what do you look, think I, I think I think it's like once people I think it's just on a on a sort of more macro level it's like once people feel comfortable being in a group setting come yeah. come back cuz I think until then it's like whatever politics and, and all that stuff aside it's like until people just genuinely feel and of course you know it could be said some folks are more comfortable than others like mm-hmm. I'm ready to yeah, go yeah, back yeah, right yeah, now yeah, but yeah. I, like until a majority of folks feel comfortable being in a group setting. Do you think you, know? you had corona? We've, we've all talked. To, yeah, we've yeah. talked about this. I feel like at the beginning of the year, like ra- after sure, New Year's, sure, you know, yeah, around, yeah. around the New Year's time either, because I remember the day after New Year's, I was feeling gross. and Worse than you ever felt. Yeah, and it, it was when we went to the game. I remember, and, and, yeah. uh, But the mor- that morning was just like, and obviously it's not necessarily yeah. a 24-hour thing, but the preceding weeks and, y- you know, Stemming from then, I feel like, I don't know. I just, I got my physical, so they said that you can get the antibodies if you're, you know, doing your panels yeah. of blood work and stuff. Yeah. So I figured. They do? And I asked. Well, it, I did it yesterday, so. Oh, I don't really? Know, I don't well, know it won't last this long because I have to say my antibodies now are negative. 
Oh, so were they positive at one have, day? Yeah, so you yeah, don't have any, any No, anymore. and they've dropped down. And and so I guess um, I guess what the theory is, is and what I'm hearing, and I'm going to have a doctor in here in the uh, next week or two, and we're going to break down a lot of coronas. I'm going to do a health and wellness oh, episode. Good. Nice. That's good. Yeah, but, um, you know, like when you get the regular flu virus, um, uh, your antibodies ramp back up because you've already been exposed. Or, so yeah. hopefully that's – but they, it takes years to know what any of this – does right. and is and i don't know i'm uh, i don't i don't know if i don't know i i hate to say i i don't know if i'm ever gonna see the crowds in the way it was again yeah. like i don't i don't know it may take 10 years because i'm you know yeah, I, I, so I, i'm a believer that it's like you maximize the highs when you have them and i tried to i believe i did the most i could you know i failed plenty you know sure. i bombed on the wrong situation from the wrong people you know, like, trust me, if I wouldn't have bombed in front of executives, if I would have learned what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but who knows? You know, it's, it's you know but I did the, my best. It's all part of the process. Mm -hmm. But you know? I did my best. So it's like now maybe it's on to something else. Well, and, and to that point, too, it's like the other aspect of this is like, sure, we're, we're, we're framing this conversation in under the presence of light or under the, the, the context of comedy as we knew it. But like, think about just entertainment, music, how all of that's evolved since like, 1900 right so maybe yeah. this whole weird ass yeah. virus is yeah. what pro what propels us to to make the next adjustment because people yeah people are always going to want to laugh and people are always going to want to have comedy as an escape and I'm, as a form of entertainment. I'm, I'm thinking it's like what's the next evolution of that yeah you know? that's i think i mean online like i i feel like there i feel like maybe being in la or maybe say new york or something like that you we we think you get used to a certain standard of comedy Right. I think now people can like have a lesser product almost like and still get laughs. Like, you know, you say, use it, for instance, let's say I do a Zoom show. You're doing Zoom shows and getting paid more than you do at a, a club. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing a Zoom show and there's like, oh, oh there's absolutely. like 200 people watching or 300 people watching, or and you're like doing seven minutes and they're like, people do donation. You're like, hey, I just made. A couple hundred dollars from a five minute set, or yeah, like I'm or doing seven corporate minutes. Zoom shows, and they're paying me a, a, for twenty minutes. They're paying me more than what I'd ever been paid for twenty minutes on a stage. Now, yeah. how how do you guys feel about the Zoom shows? I like, feel like, like it's like doing it, an open mic, like it's like a the people, but but you, it's like the the. I'm I, gonna do it in here, so let's see. I like. I don't like I don't like the Zoom shows, but because for me personally, I mean you gotta ingest, but it's like. Comedy is so much about uh, c the connection with people, and the Zoom the Zoom shows allow things to be like a point five second a second off, right? And then I can't react. We can't be in like that, real time like that gotcha. latency. Sometimes sometimes a laugh will make you add tags to a joke. Like you're like, oh, you know, to cut this shit off. Like it's like you you kind of like riding this wave. You're like, oh, this is a good wave. Right. Okay, they're loving you. Like add add add. Because and you, if you pause hearing, for a second, you, you could lose them. Yeah, and then, you know, I've had times where I'm like, oh fuck, they're not feeling this joke. Like you know, like or watching the Zoom show. I'm like, all right, I was cut that part, cut this da da da, and then I'm going up to the next joke and I hear, ha 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 ha. I'm like, so it's, oh it's fuck, delayed. yeah, yeah. So I'm like, fuck, yeah. yo, you guys were laughing yeah. at the joke. I thought it was like not getting you. Guys. So so it's, right. So it's like it, it's ruining essentially the 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 format, essentially the format, but also how you can. Checks and balance your own material. Yeah, like, yeah. Cause so much of this is like, you oh, you guys. Even you know, co comics always call on you do a joke and be like, ooh, you guys have got tight on that one. Uh, you guys aren't feeling that one, huh? Uh, you know, like you just kind of can fill a room. Like, well, there's you funny can't and not funny. Acknowledging when a joke doesn't yeah. hit, but you don't know. You can't fill a room. You can't be like, oh, there's certain people you don't know. You got eight people. You might see tw eight people on your screen, but two hundred people might be watching. Right. Like, and you're like, I don't. It's like doing a fucking monologue. Like, I have yeah. no idea how these two hundred people are feeling towards this stuff. You might. Somebody might, uh, you know, you do a Trump joke or something. Like maybe the room loves it. Maybe the room's super tight, and maybe you got three other Trump jokes you would do if the shit is all right. Or you maybe you're like, yeah, all right, if they're not feeling the Trump shit, I'll just go to the whatever the fuck, or whatever. So it sounds like the money to be made here is to, however, someone can figure out how to have that essentially seamless real time reaction between mm. the holograms, audience. holograms, yeah, two, <laughs> two pox everywhere. But no, it's like, I need <laughs> an audience full of holograms, dude. That that. I, that that's crazy. I did a show at the, you know, the, the new space, the in crowd. I did a show. Um, no, to explain this. I okay, so there's there's this, uh, this 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 group company called In Crowd, uh, and they have made like a studio in like North, it's kind of North Burbank or something like that, um, where you stand on stage and like in a sound stage, 
and there's like you're like in a kind of half circular dome kind of and there's like zoom show but it's like on crack it's like they're big screens there's like 30 40 screens but everybody's in real time right so it's like zoom but you're surrounded by like oh so sure. i've seen matrixy very yeah yeah, yeah yeah so like okay. but you can hear everybody real time and there's cameras at different parts so people are getting the views from their home compared to where they're at like on the screen so if you're if you're on this side of the screen you're you're coming from this camera that's like in the middle here and so they're getting your side view and like what, they're sitting what there is the latency on that? What is the back and forth compared yeah. to Zoom? And that, that one is more real time. You can hear all the people at the same time laugh and things like that. But then there's there's a soundboard with like three people on the soundboard at backstage and they're muting people as, if they're too loud or dogs barking or babies like, you know. But I did that show and I did. That was the first show back after a long time. And it was like a really <laughs> good show. The way you left Mitt tells Man. me it didn't and like, go as well as you thought. So it was. I, I was like, I was like, I think it was Taylor Thomas on the show. Uh, uh, who's her? Who's her boyfriend? Uh, oh, at the time, it's not her boyfriend. Are they broken up already? Yeah. Oh man, uh, that's why she's on the road. Sam Morrill. Sam Morrill. Yeah. Uh, uh, Brad Williams and and Hunter Hunter Hill. Hunter Hill uh, opens for Eliza. So like, so that's and I'm like, oh cool. But I haven't been up in five months. I'm like, ah, I want to do new stuff. And I'm like, wasn't sure. I, I realized, oh, I haven't said this shit out loud. <laughs> and then like five months, I just rewriting it, but I haven't said it out loud to people. And so I'm, I'm doing well the first like five minutes. It's like seven minutes of new stuff and then like three minutes of old stuff. And then, uh, and then like after like minute six, I'm like, I see people smiling, but like I'm getting no laughs. So, like I'm like, and I'm like, oh man, am I bombing? <laughs> like in my head, you're like, you're like, you're like, no, you're like oh, am I fucking? I'm a, damn, it's been a long time, and I'm like trying to remember shit and. <laughs> And I'm, I'm bombing, and I'm like, fucking bombing, and I'm like, I'm fucking bombing, right? This is crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, Taylor, Tom, all of them are watching me, and I'm like, I'm bombing in front of these people who I respect, you know, whatever. And and then so at the end, and people in the studio are laughing, and then at the end, the guys go, he goes, oh, man, really funny stuff. He's like, sorry to tell you, but the we had to fuck up on the audio. Oh. And they were laughing, but you just couldn't hear them. <laughs> and I was oh, like, bro. bro. But it only bro. happened what halfway a through. mental game, dude. <laughs> no. That's crazy. It happened halfway through the set, so I was like, oh, the audio is fine. <laughs> they just aren't laughing anymore. And he's like, yeah, the audio fucked up halfway. And I was like, bro, Dude, you need to hear like, it. That's that's a new, that's that should be a new Ken Jeong reality <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah. La laugh or no laugh. Yeah, where, yeah, where, yeah, where yeah. You have to decide, are the people actually laughing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was so, yeah, and I got Fuck, off stage man. and I, I got off stage and I, I for sure, but everybody was like, Hey man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, and you know, in comedy, you get off stage, and when yeah. your peers like don't want to say nothing yeah. about your set, they go uh, like this fucking like, guy. So what are you up to tomorrow? <laughs> I'm like, all right, all right, I'm gonna go home. Yeah, man, I, I gotta go wash my hands. <laughs> oh man, it's, like, it's the worst feeling. You're like, like, you're like, yeah, man. You're like, once it matures, you're like, nope. No, <laughs> it's like uh, you gave me hope. Yeah, and, and they were like, oh man, that was that was a really funny moment. But I was like, hey, it's. it's it's kind of part of the process. Too. You got to know, like, that's what you've been off for a while. And all of a sudden, I'm like, that's just part of the comedy, man. Like, I, I'm i trying to, matter of fact, I'm, my, my goal for all this shit was to start bombing more. So I feel like you aren't, not bombing on purpose, but, like, to, like, I mean, because for me, a part of me, if you're bombing means you're taking risks. Well, you're trying stuff. Yes, you exactly. Don't you, bomb. you don't want to bomb. You don't want to bomb, bomb. But I'm saying. Like, <laughs> but you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm just be a more adventurous. Dave's like, like, I'm going out. Not I playing am, safe. I yeah. ain't telling like, one not fucking safe. joke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've seen. I'm going to make them boo me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make boo them hate bust. me. <laughs> ah, Hitler. Ah, yeah, what I, do you guys think about Hitler? Talk, talk about, like, I, like, saw, what? I saw Dave. Remember uh, Dave Taylor? I don't mm. know if he even does comedy anymore. Matt Taylor's brother. Oh, Matt Taylor's brother. Okay. Dave Taylor, he gets on stage the day after the Boston bombing. Oh, no. The comedy <laughs> store. Oh, no. And he's like, Boston sucks. That was his oh, opener. I was like, shut your fucking mouth. Ooh. Yeah, shut but every, up. but at, in comedy, everybody, because no matter what people say, whatever tragedy or everything happens, there's always a day where it's okay. Right? There's already a day where it becomes okay to talk about it. Right. right. But everybody's trying to find that, that like, be the first to that day. Like, you're like, you don't know where it's at, so you're like, everybody's putting their foot in the water. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. a week? Is it a... Uh, <laughs> Cause you don't want to be, you also don't want to be, be second to the party. Soon, yeah, you. Yeah, if you're late to the party, like fuck, everybody's on that topic. And it, 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 yesterday you don't was the day. Too early, though. You want to be too early, but everybody, because somebody's got to. Worse. Somebody's got to check the check the temperature though. Like you know, because yeah. there, there's somebody. Well, yeah, let let that let those people check the temperature, right? Yeah. I don't need to be the one doing that. Yeah, like, whatever. Some people are risk I mean, I'll, well, I'll I'll speak my mind. Yeah, I take plenty of risks, mm. but it's like I'm also to the point where that. In my life, I do really consider certain people's feelings. 
All right? Mm. Like, I quit being a bully. The same reason I don't do roast battle and all this and that. But wait, hold on, Stevie. You've been yeah. here an hour. <laughs> You've Whoa. been here. Is that, Did you have fun? I had a great time. Yeah, yeah. This thanks is, for coming is, on. Steve. David thanks, thanks Murphy. Thanks for having me, guys. This has been awesome. How yeah. you like the co-host? You did very good in the co-host yeah. chair. You kept good it chair. flowing. Yeah. Ladies and good gentlemen. Time. Yeah. Good big, time, big, man. big props. David Murphy. You got... Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's applause right there. Yeah, we were real time the laughter the whole time. <laughs> oh, wow. bro. yeah, there was an audio <laughs> like <it> issue. <laughs> Uh, Stephen Ladden, you are a gem. Oh, thanks uh, for having me. Yes, you, you are absolutely beautiful. I'll make sure Likewise, to let you yeah. know when this gets posted. It's going to be next week. Brian Schlesinger in the newsroom. Alpha Dog Pack is our sponsor. This has been a wonderful episode. I really thank you all, and we'll be thank back. Thank you, Brian. Thanks, guys. No, thank yeah. you, guys, Stevie. And we'll have you back anytime you ever want to hey. plug anything, you ever want to talk about anything, you let me know. You're all my right. guy. Hey. David Murphy, Likewise. same yeah. thing. We'll talk to you. Uh, we'll see you all soon. Yeah, for Bye. sure. Later.